Kan Hausa na BBC akan mita shashida da mita shatara da mita ashirin da biyar da kuma tashoshin FM a wasu kasashen Afrika. Zulai Abubakar ke fatan kun yi da lafiya cikin shirinmu na karfe 8 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato bakwai da rabi kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana. cikin shirin na wannan lokaci za ku ji shugaban Russia Vladimir Putin da Kim Jong Un sun rata ba hannu kan abin da shugaban na Russia ya bayyana a matsayin yarjejeniyar tsaro jagoran kungiyar Hezbollah ya yi wa Cyprus gargadin ta guji taimakawa Isra'ila da sojoji a Najeriya kungiyar masu gasa bread ta kasar ta koka akan yawan hawhawar tsadar kayan yin bread musamman ma dai fulawa da sukari har al'amarin ya fara korar wasu masu gidajen bredi daga sana'ar to ko me yayi zafi wuta shidda da sauko kuma wuta ta kos ki gudu daya muna sayinta daga dubu tirin da bakon zuwa dubu 30 to daga wannan wuta shidda zuwa kuma ta bari fulawa ta ta kuma dubu 38 zuwa dubu 41 to har ila yau a Najeriya daidai lokacin da wasu al'umomi a jihar Kaduna ke kokawa cewa yan bindiga sun hana su sakat ita ko gwamnatin jihar Bugun Kirji take da cewa tana samun nasara a kone ka canna shi da wani mai duna suna biye daga cikin yan ta'adda wadda an dade ana neman su a jallo su ma din jami'an tsaro sun samu nasara a kansu to wadannan da ma karar rahotanni na nan tafiye bayan kun saurari labarin duniya Shugaban Russia Vladimir Putin da Kim Jong Un sun rata ba hannu akan abin da shugaban na Russia ya bayyana a matsayin yarjejeniyar tsaro. An kula yarjejeniyar ne a ranar da aka gudana da bikin maraba da Mr Putin a Korea ta Arewa bayan sama da shekaru 20 sai dai ba a bayyana a cikin bayanin yarjejeniyar ba. Shugaban Korea ta Arewa ya sake jidda da goyon bayan sa a yakin da Russia take yi da Ukraine yayin da Mr Putin ya ce akwai bukatar sake duba ta kunkumin da majalisar dinkin duniya ta kaka bawo Korea ta Arewa Since his war on Ukraine Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong Un have Wakili ya BBC ta ce tun da ya kadamar da yaki a Ukraine alakar Vladimir Putin da Kim Jong Un ta dada karuwa Amurka na zargin Russia da karbar makamai tare da taimakawa Korea ta Arewa da abinci da man petrol da kuma fasahar soji Bayan ratsar da shi a wa'adi na biyu shugaban Afirka ta Kudu yayi gargadin cewa kasar na fama da rabuwar kai tsakanin masu arziki da masu karamin karfi Cyril Ramaphosa ya ce gazawar gwamnatin su ce ta haifarwa jami'ar ANC a sarar masu rinjaye yanzu dai Mr Ramaphosa zai yi mulki a matsayin shugaban jami'an hadaka sakamakon kullayar jejeniya da wasu jami'u ciki har da jami'ar Democratic Alliance a boki rahamayyar ANC a lokacin da yake jawabi bayan shan rantsuwa ya ji hankalin al'umar kasar su guji siyasar cin zarafi wata jami'a da tsohon shugaban kasar Jacob Zuma ke jagoranta bata halarci taron rantsar da shugaban kasar ba Rahotanni sun bayyana mutuwar daruruwan mutane a Saudi ya sakamakon tsananin zafi yayin aikin hajjin bana a kowani rahoto kuma da ya sanar da mutura daruruwan mahajjata daga iya kasar Masar kawai yanayin zafin ya haura maki 51 a ma'aunin Celsius a ranar litinin a birnin Makka people were doing whatever they could to shape themselves they Arthur Hussein Limami a Britaniya yake cewa mutane yana yin duk mai yuwa don samun inuwa suna karbar ruwa da mutane ke rabawa akwai kuma wadanda suke shiga dakin taron baki na otel otel dan fakewa ban taba ganin inda dandazan mutane suke ta kansu ba kusan mutane miliyan 1 da 800 ne suka gudanar da ibadar aikin hajjin a bana mutuwar mahajjada a lokacin aikin hajji ba sabon abu bane amma an danganta tsananin zafin da aka fuskanta bana da takarawa wajen rasa rayuka da dama kuna sauraron labarin duniya daga sashen Hausa na BBC Jagoran kungiyar Hezbollah ya yi wa Cyprus barazana tare da gargadin ta da ta guji taimakawa Isra'ila da soji Hassan Nasrallah ya ce za su gwada misali da tsibirin idan Cyprus ta bari rundunar sojin saman Isra'ila ta amfani da sansananta wajen kai wa Lebanon hari idan rikici tsakanin kasashen biyu ya dori ya kuma kara da cewa Hezbollah ba ta da niyyar yaki kai tsaye da Isra'ila amma za ta ci gaba da kai hare hare kan iyaka don goyon bayan mayakan Hamas a Gaza to sai dai Isra'ila ta bayyana cewa ta shirya domin yaki da Hezbollah 
Hassan Nasrallah said that no part of Israel would be safe if there was an all-out war. Wakilin BBC ya ce Hassan Nasrallah ya ce babu wani bangare na Isra'ila da zai tsira idan aka fito yaki gaba daya. Isra'ila ta sa rai da hari ta kasa da ruwa da kuma ta sama. Hassan Nasrallah yayi wannan jawabi ne lokacin girmama babban komandan Hezbollah Talib Abdullah wanda ya rasa ransa sakamakon wani hari da Isra'ila ta kai ta sama a makon da ya gabata. Akalla mutane goma sun rasa rayukan su sakamakon zabtarewar kasa yayin ruwan sama mai karfi a kudu maso gabashin Bangladesh takwas daga cikin wadanda suka rasa rayukan nasu yan kabilar Rohingyani da suka gudun hijira daga Myanmar wani jami'i ya bayyana cewa zabtarewar kasar ta faru a gurare hudu dake sansanin yan gudun hijira a Cox Bazar kusan kabilar Rohingya miliyan 1 da suka tsirewa cin zarafin sojoji daga kasar Sini suke zaune a sansanin mai cinkosan jama'a a wani bangare na Bangladesh sama da mutane 700 ambaliyar ruwan ta shafa wafshin kula da yanayi na kasar yayi hasashen saukar ruwan sama mai karfi a kwanaki masu zuwa to karshen labarin duniyar kenan daga sashen Hausa na BBC sai fagen rahotan nan mutane a kalla goma sun mutu sakamakon zabtarewar kasa da ta faru saboda ruwan sama mai karfi a kudu maso gabashin Bangladesh cikin su akwai yan kabilar Rohingya daga Myanmar dake zaman gudun hijira a arewa maso gabashin Bangladesh din ambaliya ta shafi fiye da mutane 700 ga fasarar rahotan Ambrasan Ethrajan hukumomi a Bangladesh sun ce zabtarewar kasar ta faru ne a sassa daban-daban na sansanin yan kudin hijira a kudu maso gabashin kasar daga cikin wadanda suka mutu har da mata da kananan yara yan kabilar Rohingya a kalla miliyan 1 ne ke gudun hijira a sansanonin da mutane suka yi wa yawa bayan fama da da kici a Myanmar mafi yawan su na zauna ne a rumfunan da aka yi da itace ko roba ga sananan bukatar abubuwan ta fiye da rayuwa an baliyar na kada kazancewa a kudancin Bangladesh ofishin kula da yanayi na kasar yayi hasashen cewa za a ci gaba da samun ruwan sama har nan da kwanaki masu zuwa jama'a tsallake an yi fama da wata ambaliyar a jihar Assam ta India inda har ta kashe mutum fiye da goma to a gaishe da Badamasi Abdul Qadir Mukhtar da fasarar rahotan Ambrasan Ethrajan to daga Bangladesh za mu je Nigeria Kungiyar masu gasa bredi ta kasar ta koka akan yawan hawhawar tsadar kayan yin bredin musamman ma dai fulawa da sukari har al'amarin ya fara korar wasu masu gidajen bredi daga sana'ar idan haka kungiyar ta gargadi kamfanonin fulawa da suke yayi wato yin kari da aka ce suna yi akan wato suke yayi yin kurin kari akan kudin fulawa shugaban kungiyar na kasa Mansur Umar ya yi tsokaci cewa idan ba dauki matakin da ya kamata don shawo kan matsalar ba to bredi fa zai gagari mafi yawan yan Najeriya gari karin bayanin da yayi a hirar sa da Abdusalam Ibrahim Ahmed yau ha ko parashin kayayin sarrafa bredin da muke fama da su musamman fulawa da shiga wanda su ne babban yan kayayin aikin da ba ta so hawan parashin da ba da kyautawa wani da zai yi wani babu ma kuma da zai yi misali wuta shidda da suka wuce baya ko kuma wuta takwas sunawan nan bugu daya muna sayin ta daga dubu ashirin da bakwai zuwa dubu talatin saboda za mu yi tafara hawa hawa ce wanda mota dai ta kama miliyan 16 kenan ko 15 da wani abu to daga wannan mota shidda zuwa kuma ta ba tilawa ta ta koma dubu talatin da ta kwa zuwa dubu 41 wanda a lokacin kuma mota ta ta koma miliyan 23 kenan da wani abu zuwa 24 da yawa masu abin sun ba aiki na bar wannan dalilin a can ba kun yin kurin shiga ya jin aiki aka lallashe ku ina aka kwana game da hakan kun ta yace ko akare ta lallashe mu cewa mu janye ya ga aiki mirin da matsalolin mu muka gabatar da matsalolin mu a rubuce kamar yanda aka bugata to muna saurare tun a lokacin da daga watan biyu zuwa yanzu ba wani abin da ya rutu kuma abin da zai ba ta mamaki daga watan biyu zuwa yanzu din da flower muna sayin ta lokacin dubu daga wannan lokacin aka lallashe mu zuwa yanzu ba ta dawo baya ba tara ma gaba tai babban kuma da kuma a yanzu muka samu labarin cewa a yanzu ma suna nan suna so su dara kudin bayan da tarin da suka yi sai ka yin cin cewa suna fama da fanji gaban na dollar lokacin da dollar ta koma 1800 da 900 shine sai kai wannan farashin fulawa ta kai na 1551 to dollar tawo baya baya yanzu mai kuma kuma ce sun dawo sarki kudin a aiko kudin kudin fulawa su kai 
to yanzu wadanda irin matsaloli hakan ke haddasa muku wajen sana'anta breeding eh yawa yanzu kashi kusan 30 zuwa 40 na musu na masu bare su aikin saboda duk da ke karin kudin breeding tsiniki yana raguwa to ga shi kuma babu riba saboda duk abin da saka sai ta yanzu misali ta sai flawa kamar yadda muka dani da dubu 40 zuwa 40 da rabu ka koma ta koma dubu 40 da biyar ka kara koma ta koma dubu 40 da shida yanzu hatta sai dubu 50 da wani saboda ka ba mu magana wani riba a a wannan aikin yanzu shi yasa dai wa masu aikin breeding ba sana'a breeding to yanzu ko me kuke bukata ayi abin da muke bukata ayi kamar yadda zan san ya kashe da kani to a sake zama a duba shi ga alƙawarin da ake mana akwai duk da ya mana dadi wanda a lokacin gwamnati ya tafi to za ta kira su kamfunan falan saboda ai mutane ne kuma wannan kuta da su za a kira su a zona a cikin abin da ake mana cost analysis a kan meye dalilin da suke yin ƙara-ƙara nan idan babu justification gwamnati za ta yi mana abu a kai sannan kuma akwai alƙawari da babu ne ta yi mana na maganar haraji harar zuka da kuma wani haraji na kashi shi ya faɗa gwamnati alƙama wanda a sunsuna a kai dan a tallafa wa masu fredi gwamnati ta sai za ta duba cikin da tallafa wa masu fredi baka rubu to bugatun mu sannan a akwai abin da mu tare wa a lokacin ita gwamnati ta kiyar da mu cewa alƙama da aka samu daga kasar Ukraine gwamnati za ta dauka ta ba masu kamfunan fula su barka da su ba masu fredi fula a matsayin tallafi na matakin warko kan a je ga na gaba ba wani abin da ya kwana daga lokacin zuwa yanzu mara so na alƙa wannan gwamnati ta ci ta wani alƙa wannan yanzu dan ana tanin nan bugata shi magana ta gaskiya a kira masu fula wannan mazauna da da su da gwamnati mai da yin yaukar ga ran nan da yawa ana tare su aikin yi duk gidan mutum dai da ta sani a da samu tun zuwa 20 zuwa 30 suna aiki wani gidan mutum suna san ma'aika sama da kai kima da kai biyu to idan wannan abin na fa ba yau wannan na fa ne wannan na fa ne to har an wayi gari tun kafin a kai da neman burodi ba samu ba idan zu a cikin yanzu burodi yana nema ko kuma ma shi dadin da yawa daga cikin mutanen kasa nan to idan ba wani tallafi da kuka samu ba to a gaskiya akwai matsala da yawa bare da yake idan ba wani abin da yawa kana gaskiya so za mu yi taron mu na kasa na next meeting a nan za mu dauki matakan da yake kamata mu sake dauka kuma insha Allah man sai rukumar kenan shugaban kungiyar masu kasa bredi na kasa a Nigeria yanzu kuma ga wannan sanarwa ga-sarrufu-tun-gajeru-kuma-a-gangulla-bare-ta-mata-zalla-wa-tumikaya-ta-ga-sarrufu-tun-gajeru-kuma-a-gangulla-bare-ta-mata-zalla-wa-tumik
kapi ndaga bisani aka ina sarachi tu su tu sede iri nyada ya mkwa ni kina ngona tinjahari kaduna ntarika pitada sanarwa na iri nasoro linda tache itana samu waja muruku shi wasuri kakunya mbindiga da hukumu misu ka jima suna paroto su yesa nane mi karo mbayani aka ngali nda aki chiki ya nzu dangane da batunza ru ajahari kaduna Mr. Samuel Arwan, she ne komishina me kulada maya kata tsaru da harko kin chikin gida na jahar kaduna. Idem zami na akada hale nda muche chiki, tabas ana saman a chiki gawa, sabani was abuwa, wadas kapalu abaya. So joji, da nasama, da nakasa, da ensan dan chiki, da kuma sauramu matanamu wadas iki garuwa wada muche fuskantam wannam barazanam. Gaskia sana tema kwa jamii anzaro, jamii anzaro mna na mna aiki mna yewe tabu wanda michele, kuna idem akali la akali, the dia the gachimu gagam, yam pashindaji wada mama kadadi mna ni mansuru ajalu za apeni chichwa mama ni amara gachimu sin shiga tarko na jami'an tsaro kuma yayin artabu sun kwanta hagu kamar wadanni gaggane za a yi cewa ku yi nasarar kamawa ko kuma ku yi nasarar halaka su a ikurin da kuke misali idan ka duba wani babban dan fashin daji wadda ya dade na ta'addanci a nan yankin karamar hukumar igabi abinda ya ce kun Harzuwa kajuru wada aki chia masa budiri isya. Jami ant alu sansa mnasaram mwuru kushishi. Nda shi da wasu da gachikimu maya kasa. Budiri isya. Yung kadugu bayani wada mchi abaya. Shi pwono budiri isya. Shi ya kaihali anam makarani tukwaleja mkweda kanana hafson. Suju jida kina kaduna watu ndi. Nadiri shikuma chi ya mkwa na kina. Akwai wani shi da bani yana ta addanci a tsakanin jahar Kaduna da jahar Katsina da kuma abin da ya jahar Niger wadda ake ana kiran sa Buhari Alhaji Halidu ana masa inkiya da Buhari Yadi ko kuma Buhari Jana shi din ma an samu nasara wani babban arangama ko kuma artabu wadda aka yi sojojin Nigeria sun samu nasaran bindige shi da shi da wasu daga cikin mayakarsa cikin yan kwanakin nan kuma da muke wannan magana a ko ne ka tallashe da wani mai duna suna daye daga cikin yan ta'adda wadda an dade ana neman su ra'a jallo su ma din jami'an tsaro sun samu nasara akan su to sai kuma yayin da gwamnatin jahar Kaduna ke tutiya da da sararin da tace tana samu a yakin da ake yi domin kawar da yan bindiga da suka addabi al'umma a bangare guda kuma har yanzu akwai wasu al'ummomi a jahar da ke nuna damuwa akan yadda yan bindiga ke hana su sakat rahotannin har hare na baya bayan nan dai shine wanda yan bindiga suka kai a kauyen maro da ke karmar hukumar Kajuru a jahar Kaduna lamarin da ya sanadiyar halaka wasu mutane yayin da wasu da dama suka jikkata Kamari ya da wani mazo ni nkawo ya Mr. Ruben Waziri ya shi daming. Anko ni gori gaba chiti ya gori yon anko ni gori guda. Last two weeks ago, bandi fish ga chikin kasomu na Johnson, a Johnson Maru, fin teche mutu ngo ma sha hudu. Fin jika tabi mutu ngo ashirinde takwa. A wan nan dire paru, mwil kira sojo ji, ko ina mwil kia security ba wan de yon. Ba wani kason chi de aike yi ba katwa. So wade hali ya ya wa ya zun ba aya zwa gona. Nka je gona ya za ja ke sheka. Mwude gome ti mwuna ro konsu. A te me kemu. So kama mwana security. A alien nan. Sale mwumu sa mwuri mwini mwuri mwuri mwuri. Ya abri chinde za mwuri. A enche karuna ndeye yanki mbiru nyo ngwane na jahar kaduna. Nkusanza eche wa ya ika urun sunani. Dengareda hararang embindiga. Kuma ache warwa sude ki bibir shaa nisa roa yanki. Hari ya nzu bat sake zani ba. Mala isa kusuman kasa yi. Ene deka chikin ya masalin garumbi nungwari na jahar kadunang. Idang aaka lurada yana abunde shafi harika na dawka muta ni. Dawa ene enta adda siki du minkarabon kudumpansa. Hayyan zung yana nandumi idamba achi ma abun nyafi baya ba. Tuza achi hayyan zile ito na mazala gasikia magana mbata yi baya ba. Wa ene enta adda sina chiga wada gana zama muta ni nda siki dawka kuma wa nda siki masubu kuchi masama achi ke mwannang aini hen gandendaji na akamoku nda kuma gandendaji na kuyambana ene nsidaji mkuyozu kuzoma ni wana 
wanda suke ainihin abin da ya shafi iyaka tsakanin jahar Kaduna da jahar Zamfara da kuma wani yanki musamman na inda aka yi iyaka da jahar Neja so sanna kuma za ka ga mafi yawancin mutane da su wa'anne yan ta'adda suke garkuwa da su mutane ne wa'anda suke dauka idan sun fita aikin gona wanda yake yanzu dan ruwan mutane dan ruwan mutane tabbas suna a ainihin hannun wa'anne yan ta'adda har yanzu dai kuma abin da ya shafi har kan kashe mutanen ana yi domin in ka dauki yan kwanakin baya musamman a yan kuna na yan mutum binnin gwar inda wa'anne yan ta'adda suka kashe yara yan shekara 18 zuwa 20 wanda suka kashe mutun takwas a rana guda da kuma kafin wannan ma abin da ya fara yan kwanakin baya sun kashe mutum biyar a wannan yanki to sai dai kuma yayin da wasu al'umomi a jahar Kaduna yake kokawa akan hararan da yan bindiga ke kai musu a nata bangaren gwamnatin jahar ta ce duk da nasarorin da ta ambato cewa tana samu akwai kalubale da ke kawo cika sojan ganin an murkushe yan bindigan kamar yadda Mr Samuel Arwan commissioner mai kula da ma'aikatar tsaro da harkokin cikin gida a jahar ke cewa duk da nasarori wadda jami'an tsaro da gwamnati muke samu akan yan fashion daji wadda suke wannan ta'addancin har yanzu an kashe macijin amma ba a sare kan ba amma abin da yasa wannan abin ta kici ta kicin yawa shine wannan batun informa din domin da zahar aka ce mana ga matsala idan muka san da jami'an tsaro muka dosa wannan wurin su informa su ke sanada yan ta'adda a baya bayan nan dai wani rahoto da ya nazari akan shanin tsaro a Najeriya ya nuna cewa an samu karuwar yawan mutanen da ake garkuwa da su a kasar a yan watannin da suka gabata ko da yake hukumomi a Najeriya sun ce ana daukar matakai domin ganin an kawo karshen harhare da kuma satar mutanen da yan bindiga ke yi Yusuf Tijani BBC Hausa daga Kaduna a Najeriya to madalla har yanzu kuma muna Najeriya Jami'an kiwon lafiya a kasar sun yi gargadi game da barkewar cutar kwalara da ta kashe mutane 30 tun farkon shekarar nan wanda aka sari daga jahar Lagos suke a bara barkewar cutar ta kashe fe da mutane 360 da ake zargin sun kama da cutar a fadin kasar wadda ta fi kowace kasa yawan jama'a a Afirka Jami'an kiwon lafiya na jahar Lagos sun bar da rahotan mutuwar mutane 15 kawo yanzu yayin da wasu 330 da ake zargin sun kama da cutar kamar da wata sanarwa ta wallafa a shafinta na X a makon nan wakilin mu na Lagos Umar Shehu Eleman ya aika mana da wannan rahoto to ni gwamnati Najeriya ta fara daukar matakai domin da yake lebullar cutar kwalara da ta lakumi rayukan mutane sama da 30 wasu jihohin kasar tun farkon shekara a hal yanzu ta bazu a fadin kana da hukumomi ke sai da shida wadanda suka hada da Bayelsa da Zamfara da Abia da Cross River da Bauchi da Delta da Kasina da Imo da Nasara da kuma jihar Lagos wanda ke doke da kashi 90 na wannan cuta shibiyar kula da cututuka ta Najeriya NCDC ta ba da rahoton mutane 1441 da ake zargi da kamuwa da cutar yayin da aka tabbatar da mutun 30 a rana 11 ga watan yunin bana to ni gwamnati jihar Lagos ta bude cibiyar bayar da aka jin kaggawa a asibitin Mailand domin magance barkewar cutar kwalara ha kuma hukumar kula da muhalli ta ma'aikatan lafiya a jihar tana tattara samfurar ruwa da abinci da abin sha'a kanan hukumomi da abin shafa domin gano inda matsalar take wani na zuwa ne a daidai lokacin da asusun kula da yara na majalisar ikin duniya UNICEF ya bukaci gwamnati da ta tabbatar da barkewar cutar ba ta yado zuwa makarantu ba commissioner lafiya na jihar Lagos professor Akin Abayomi ya bukaci mazauna jihar Lagos da su goyi bayan kokarin gwamnati da hada kai da hukumomin lafiya da kuma shiga ayyukan tsabtacce mahalli a fadin jihar ko wani mutakai ne al'umma jihar suka fara dauka kuma ko suna sadi da yawan wadanda su karbu da kwalara to abin da ya kamata mutane su dau mataki shine na farko mutum ya ringa wanke hannun sa sannan kuma ya tsabtace gurin da ungun sana'a ce nan ma ka tsabta da ita wajen shara da dai sauran su ungun kwanciya ne ma kuma a kula da yara yanda ya kamata wannan abin ya faru na daya za mu sa Allah ciki sannan na biyu mu ma da kanmu za mu kiyaye game da tsabtata yanda zai kasance kar ina wannan cuta ta shafi iyalai wadanda abu kake gane za ku yi domin ganin cewa to yaran ma in kiyaye ba su dauki da wannan ciwowa eh sai mu sa musu a kunne su ringa kiyayewa game da halin da gari yake ciki da cutukan da ke tafiya bincike ya nuna cutar ta kasance babbar matsalar kiwon lafiya sakamakon shan kocin gurbataccen ruwa ko abinci mai dauke da kwai cutar ta kwalara a kasashe masu tasowa duk da kasancewar ana iya riga kafi kuma ana iya magance ta cikin sauki 
yara na cigaba da fama da cutar da za ta iya kaiso ga mutuwa a cewar hukumar lafiya ta duniya WHO masu bincike sun kiyasa ta cewa a kowace shekara ana samun adadin masu kamu da cutar kwalara miliyan 4 a duniya wanda ke haifar da mutuwar kusan mutum 1443 shugabar asusun tallafa ya rata majalisa dinkin duniya UNICEF mai ofishi a Birnin Lagos Selim Rufsira ta yi gargadin cewa barkewa cutar kwalara da ke ci gaba da shafar yara da yan kasa da shekaru biyar sune suka fi fuskantar rashin murwa a cikin su da kuma yawan mace-mace bayan harbuwa da cutar Umar Shehu Eleman BBC Hausa daga Lagos a Nigeria to madalla yanzu kuma ga Umar Mikail ya shigo daki mu na ya da shirye-shirye domin ya mana karin bayani kan gasar kwallon kafa ta kasashen Turai wato Euro 2024 Umar na san yanzu haka ana fafata wasa wani hali ake ciki game da wasannin gasar to zulaiha halin da ake ciki shine yanzu haka an tafi rabul a hotar rabul lokaci ne a wasa da ake bugawa tsakanin kasar Scotland da kuma Switzerland kuma wannan wasa ana yin sani daya da daya inda shi wato Fabian Sha na Scotland na Switzerland ya fara cin gida sannan sai Jadan Shakiri na Switzerland kuma ya farke kwallon da aka ce musu kuma kafin wannan lokaci idan ba a manta ba Jamus ce ta fara cin Scotland kwallo har biyar da daya a wasan farko Zulaiha to Umar na san yanzu haka ana fafata wasa wani hali ake ciki game da wasannin gasar misali babu dadewa masu masaukin baki ma sun yi wasa ko haka domin kuwa ita jamus mai masaukin baki kamar da kika fada ita ta cinye hungry da ci biyu da ne ba kuma wannan wasa matashin dan wasa mu siyala da kuma gogaggen dan wasa gondowan sune suka ci mata wannan kwallaye kuma wannan sakamako ya bata damar darewa saman wannan teburi na daya da makin ta shida wanda haka ma yake nufin ta samu gurbin shiga zagin yan sha shida da za a fara nan gaba idan sauran kungiyoyi sun ci nasu wasan su dai haka kun haka kasar Croatia ce ta buga wasa da Albania wanda aka tashi canjar biyu da biyu a tsakanin su kuma kafin yanzu ita Croatia dama kasar Spaniya ta ci ta uku da nema su dai haka nam to zuwa yanzu ya kake ganin gasar tana wani armashi kuwa to wannan gasa tana armashi gaskiya Zulaiha domin kuwa akwai matasan yan wasa da suke takarwar gani kamar shi Musiala Jamal Musiala na Jamus da ne magana yanzu yanzu yana da shekara 21 kuma shine yake da kwallo biyu sama da kowa a wannan gasa kuma shine yake takawa Jamus rawa sosai sannan akwai dan wasa matashi shi ma yana shekara 21 na kasar Portugal wato Costa Sao wanda ya ceci kasar ta Portugal a wasan da ta yi jiddi da ke da duk da yake da zaratan yan wasa irin sasar ba da Cristiano Ronaldo amma ya taso daga benci ya ci mata kwallo sannan kuma Zulaiha a gobe akwai wasa mai zafi da za a yi tsakanin kasar Spaniya da Italiya kuma idan ba a manta ba Spaniya ce ta ci wasan farko ita ce ta daya a teburin Italiya kuma take bi mata a matsayi na biyu ita ma da makin ta uku Zulaiha naam to a gaida Umar Mikail da labarin wasanni ลาบาร์นดูเนียเลยก็จะเชิญทุกข์ซาบะบีบีซีฮาวซาจะเชิญทุกข์ที่อาจจะไม่นิ่งอีเดียร์เรดิโอเนี่ยมันจะทำอะ